Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. You know, I was uh, cleaning out my toolbox here at home and started thinking about uh, what tools I had available. And I had forgotten about a box that I carry in the big ass station wagon. I mean, uh, ever since I was a kid, I can remember my old man always had uh, one of those metal craftsman toolboxes just jammed full of tools. You know, if you break down and, and you didn't have a simple hand tool to get yourself going again, well, um... Yeah, well, that would be bullshit if you didn't have a simple hand tool to get yourself back on the road. So I always carry something. Plus, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you see a biker broke down alongside the road, you can't hardly stop and help if you don't have anything but a pocket screwdriver on you. So I haven't been in this box in a while, haven't needed it. So we'll take a look and see what we got there. I used to carry the uh, the metal boxes, but they tend to rust out. Damn, there's a lot of shit in there. All right, let's get you set up. All right, let's see what we got in here. Been a long time. All right. So we got... Uh, some safety glasses that I probably can't see through. We got bitch mittens. Well, that's always good if you're on your way to church and you break down you want to keep clean. Oh, what do I got in here? Oh, we got a voltmeter. Cheap. So if it breaks, who cares? Hacksaw, because you never know when you need to, might need to cut a piece of rogue exhaust tubing off your vehicle. Pliers, adjustable wrench, big ass zip tie, looks like a razor knife, some wire, battery terminal cleaner, tape measure, Scrunch in case uh, you need to work on a chainsaw alongside the road. Got some old Craftsman USA tools here. Here's an Ace half inch wrench and some no name brand of uh, screwdrivers. Hell, this one's bent. It looks like there's pretty much a full set in here. Needle nose. Phillips, three quarter inch Taiwan socket, or here's a Craftsman 10 mil. See, it's not lost, it's just hidden in your toolbox in the truck. We got uh, an Ace, three Ace ratchet. Not going to go through all of this, but looks like I got a couple bolts laying around in there. More screwdriver set, tire pressure gauge, um, piece of rubber holes, chisels, probably uh, help you with that rogue exhaust system problem, punches, 3 ace extension, 3 ace extension, I don't know what I got here. Thorson 916s. A file. I don't know. There's a spring and an alligator clip and whatever. What other goodies do we got? This thing is pretty much jammed full, by the way. There's. Uh, I bet you that weighs 50 pounds. So this first set, a 
looks to be Craftsman metric combination wrenches. You know the uh, the 10 millimeter was on top here somewhere. We'll get that one put away. Yeah, I'm getting stuff done during this pandemic. 13, 14, missing a 15. You know what? I know where that is, though. I saw it in the other toolbox. So anyway, we go up to 19 millimeter. That ain't bad for a road set. This one looks a little bit scary. I might have to come up with a new uh, bag for this one. Thorson brand. Inch and an eighth. Doesn't say where they're made. I have no idea. This one's Chinese, inch and a quarter. Inch and a sixteenth. Inch. Looks like I probably got the whole set here. They're just scattered about. Oh, we got a pry bar. A BFH. Fiberglass handle. Pipe wrench. You never know when you got a plumbing project alongside the road you got to work on. Curved jaw vice grips. Great job, vice grips. More of those Thorson tools. These things look like they're in pretty good shape yet. They've probably been in here forever and not used much. You know, there was a time when I did a lot of service calls on lawnmowers uh, at the end of the day, and uh, that time kind of is, has passed. Now I'm working on uh, robotic lawnmowers, and if I have a T Torx T20 and a Phillips screwdriver and a laptop, I can probably fix anything wrong with those. I got a deep 12 point Craftsman USA metric. We've got metric Allen wrenches, standard short Allen wrenches, standard long Allen wrenches. Well, that's kind of nice. You know, I'm, I'm talking about this like I've never seen any of this stuff before, and to be honest, it's been a long time. I know I haven't seen the bottom of this toolbox in 10 years. Stubby Phillips. Zip tie. Napa channel lock. This is a, this is a custom looking thing, huh? Piece of heater hose over a piece of hollow tube. I don't know what brand that was, but looks pretty handy. A little bit of wire. Here's some six point deep half inch drive metric sockets. Here's some 12 deep Craftsman USA standard sockets. And we have six point deep 3 8 drive Craftsman sockets. You know, got to have that. That's a pretty good size wrench. Must be a 12 or 14 inch or 15 inch piece of uh, sandpaper. I don't know if it was in there maybe for filing points back in the day or what. Don't know what to say about this one. Extra hacksaw blade. Um, 
some Torx bits. 15 millimeter socket goes on there. Fuel line clamp. Oh, here's where the Torx bits came from. Out of this bag. There's some treasures in here. And that's it. It's empty. Needs to be cleaned out. Now we can take a look at that tote that I got in the back of the big ass station wagon. It's something that uh, I like to keep in there, especially in the winter, but a lot of times it has to come out just so I have room to haul what I want to haul. But we'll go grab that and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the tote out of the back of the truck. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got in there. Goodies. So right away, you see we got a measuring wheel. Why the hell am I carrying that? Well, it's not to uh, measure how long it'll take for someone to come help me if I'm broke down. It's for measuring lawns for landscaping. And I do all that online now, so I really don't need that. And I recommend everyone carry a, a good set of jumper cables. This isn't a good set, but at least it's copper, so it's got that going for it. This is an air compressor. All right, so I got an air compressor that uh, I broke down to make it small enough to carry in a motorcycle. And this could be broke down further. You don't need a gauge on here. You can just carry your pencil gauge in the bike. Uh, I could eliminate the switch, too, if I wanted to, and just plug this into whatever harness is on that bike. Um, and then, you know, I, I got the, the tire repair kit in there, too. So we got that. Dead battery and flat tire we got covered. The, uh, let me make some room here. Little Coleman Ultimite uh, generator. So it's 120 volt or 12 and 24 volt. And I rigged this up so I can just plug this in here. And you know, I got the 12 and 24 volt, just a little two cycle engine. And you're thinking, well, that thing ain't never going to start when you need it. Well, I am a two-cycle mechanic, and I only use the uh, canned fuel in here. So about once a year, I'll fire this thing up just to see, make sure it runs, and it always starts. 90 amps DC charging. Uh, that's pretty pretty impressive for this little unit. So that's that works out nice. So I got the dead battery covered for sure. Got the flat tire covered with the compressor and the patch kit. Stuck in the mud. We got that covered here with the snatch strap. And always uh, make sure you have a way to hook it to your vehicle for sure, front and rear. And then couple of extra pieces so you can hook it to someone else's vehicle. I'm sure there's a lot more stuff I could jam in there but I got the basics and I got a little room for throwing stuff in there when I need it. So that's really all I got for you today. If you uh, got any suggestions what I should be hauling in that tote or tools that I maybe should be carrying I mean, right now, off the top of my head, I can think of a couple of things that aren't in that toolbox that should be. Maybe some hose clamps, um, some electrical tape, wire connectors, some basic stuff. And I'll tune that up here uh, while I got some time. 
If you got any other suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Later.